Thank you, Regina. Uh, my name is Sandra Adams. I'm retired, so I can speak and not worry about losing my job. <laughs> state, state hospitals like Earl K. Long serve as the birthplace for thousands of Louisiana babies through the years. But with the expansion of Medicaid, many women have moved to the private sector to have their babies, not because of the care, because as you've heard tonight, the care in the public hospitals has been wonderful, but because the state has refused to improve and update the facilities. Yeah. The Medicaid eligibility for pregnant women, however, ends six weeks after the birth. So this means that the women who don't have health insurance have two choices. Most, and, and as has been pointed out, most of these people are employed, but they only have two choices once that Medicaid eligibility is over, and that is the, to seek care back at state hospitals or to get pregnant again in order to have a Medicaid card. Now, our initial efforts to expand Medicaid was done principally to try to improve birth outcomes. And we do know that women in our state have pretty good access to prenatal care in the first trimester, which is the, the, the norm that we were looking for. But what we've discovered is that many of these women have chronic issues that can't really be addressed in the few short months that they have a Medicaid card for their um, eligibility for their pregnancy. And so we really haven't seen the improvement in birth outcomes that we had hoped for because we're not being able to treat women before they get pregnant and address those problems so in order to assure that they have a healthy outcome. But in, in anticipation of closing Earl K. Long, an agreement was negotiated with, to provide care for women without insurance at Women's Hospital. But the funding that was pledged for that care is no longer available. So women today that need care must find a way, first of all, to even be able to get there. But then the only thing that they're doing now is emergency services. So we're looking at a situation where they have absolutely gone backwards. So that the pledge that was made, the, the intent of what we were was planned has, has just gone down the drain. The Affordable Care Act would provide for Medicaid expansion for these people, for, the, for, for adults, and, and I, I need to point out here that the, the expansion doesn't really deal with children because children in our state already have Medicaid coverage up to 200% of poverty. But we also know that children's care is impacted if the whole family has coverage. So we could anticipate with an expansion under the Affordable Care Act that more adults would be covered and it would improve the care of children when the whole family has coverage. But unfortunately, we have a governor who has steadfastly dug in his heels, is refusing to consider the expansion, and that leaves women, again, with one choice. If they want a card that gives them in, an insurance coverage, the only option that they have today is to get pregnant. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, Ms. Allen.